hello all welcome to my channel make minds today we shall discuss about gdnt tolerances of profile basics a profile is an outline of a surface a shape made up of one or more features or a two dimensional element of one or more features profile tolerances are used to define a tolerance zone to control form or combinations of size form orientation and location of a feature or features relative to a true profile a profile tolerance may be applied to an entire part multiple features individual surfaces or to individual profiles taken at various cross sections through a part so there are basically two types of profile tolerances one is profile of a line and another is profile of a surface so coming to profile of a line so here each line element tolerance zone is established by the profile of a line tolerance requirement is a two dimensional or an area and a tolerance zone is normal to the two profile of the feature at each line element so profile of a line may be applied to parts having various cross section such as tapered wing of an aircraft or a cross constant cross section such as an extrusion so profile of a surface the tolerance zone established by the profile of a surface tolerance is three dimensional a volume extending along the length and width or circumference of the considered feature or features profile of a surface may be applied to parts of any shape including parts having a constant cross section or parts having a surface of revolution profile of a line so let us consider a component here um, i'll choose a marker let us consider a component here and let us take a 2d cross section of that particular component which is denoted here so here we are trying to define profile of a line to a cross section as a 2d boundary here in the feature control frame we can find that the profile of a line is given with 0.16 as a geometrical tolerance with respect to datum c and b and here one peculiar feature of profile of a line is that we give the extension of the surface between c to d here we have mentioned c and d are the end points and this, this is the where the surface of a profile of a line we are trying to consider so here we are trying to uh, we are having a phantom line here which is uh, which we are trying to denote that the geometrical tolerance is within the component which is 0.16 with respect to datums a and datum b coming to profile of a surface unilaterally outside so here in this particular example we can see that in the feature control frame frame the profile of a surface is with is having a geometrical tolerance of 0.3 which is unilaterally outside which is again 0.3 with respect to datum a b and c so this means that the profile of a surface tolerance applies unilaterally away from the part when located on datum plane a b and c the 0.3 following the unequally disposed symbol indicates that the amount of tolerance zone is outside of the true profile so this is one of the latest addition which is being done in asme by 14.5 2009 so here we are trying to define a geometrical tolerance of the part which is which is outside it which is that is 0.3 then here coming to another example here we can see a plate with a hole so here the profile of a surface is having a geometrical tolerance of 0.5 which is unequal unilaterally outside or unequally disposed which is again 0.5 outside the part and for the whole case it is unilaterally this displaced again which is 0.5 so in this case we can have we have the phantom line for the solid part which is outside and for the hole which is inside it means that the rectangular component outside part is increasing while the hole size is decreasing so coming to next one the profile of a surface unilaterally inside in this case uh, unlike the previous case we have geometrical tolerance of 0.3 which is unilaterally inside so it means to say that the geometrical tolerance outside the component is zero and the total complete geometrical tolerance is within the component this means this the profile of a surface tolerance applies unilaterally into the part when located on datum plane a b and c the zero following the un unequally disposed symbol indicates the amount of tolerance zone outside of the true profile so similar example here we have profile of a surface with geometrical tolerance of 0.5 unequally disposed uh, with respect to datum a and profile of a surface 0.5 unequally disposed with zero tolerance with respect to datum a here uh, similarly we can see that the outside phantom line uh, is outside the component here and the whole size is increasing as well and the rectangular component size is also increasing so uh, similarly we have 
profile of a surface with unequally disposed symbols. Here, the total geometrical tolerance is 0.3, and it is unequally disposed with 0.1 after the symbol. It means to say that the 0.1 geometrical tolerance is outside the component, and the leftover 0.2 geometrical tolerance is inside the component. So, uh, if we don't mention any symbol like uh, U with a circle, it means that it is uh, directly a bilateral tolerance. Tolerance. So here we have 0.4 outside the component and 0.5 inside the component. Profile of a surface with respect to datum A. In second case, we have uh, 0.8 is the total geometrical tolerance and uh, uh, 0 is the geometrical tolerance which is outside the part. So the complete geometrical tolerance is inside the part in this case. So this phantom plane case was eliminated in ASME by 14.5 2009. I mean, uh, uh, in, from 2009 and 2018 editions, we are following this particular symbol. It is new to us. So again, unilaterally, uh, unilateral tolerance outside, we have pointed is a total geometrical tolerance outside the part, and zero is a geometrical tolerance inside the part. Again, here we have 0.2, uh, which is outside, uh, and 0.8, uh, which is inside. 0.6, which is inside. Since the total geometrical tolerance is 0.8. Yeah, same thing is explained here. Please uh, pause the video, and you can uh, read it. Coming to another important symbol, profile of a surface all around. So when we give profile of a surface all around, here it means to say that the surfaces all around the part profile must lie with, between two parallel boundaries 0.6 apart, perpendicular to datum plane A and equally disposed above the true profile. Radius of part corners must not exceed 0.2. Here, all the uh, complete profile of this particular, particular component is taken. The total geometrical tolerance is 0.6 in this case. And uh, datum reference is important here. But coming to the next one, profile of a surface all over. Here, please note we don't have datum reference. The complete point is geometrical tolerance is complete the whole part, including all the surfaces and even other regularities. So if, if we try to compare the previous one, you can see here that these are not included here. But in this case, all uh, all the all the edges are included. The surfaces all over the part outline must lie between two parallel boundaries, point six apart, and equally disposed about the true profile. The profile of a surface between, as we discussed in profile, we need to specify a bit the range. It's like we have starting point A, B, and uh, again E F. So here we have profile of a surface with geometrical tolerance of point two with respect to E and F between E and B. Again with point one E F between B and C. But when we try to give um, between uh, various profile tolerances between these surfaces, there will be some transitions and which are not defined properly. So in this case, as uh, depicted here, there are these transitions between tolerance zones which are abrupt. So in this case, we have another uh, new modifier, like we give non-uniform between E and F, and we consider a whole surface, A to D. So here, these transition blends are defined in CAD data or with basic dimensions. So gauging or measurement of true profile. So profile is usually measured using a CMM due to the complexity of some of the surfaces that are called out. The CMM would compare the 3D scan of the profile to the dimensions called out on the spec drawing to see if it is in spec. If a simple surface is called out, such as radius on a corner, a height gauge can be used to raise the part as long as the gauge can stay the same distance away from the surface as rotates around the surface. So uh, to inspect profile tolerance using dial indicator and set of gauge blocks. So let's consider this particular component is having a profile of a surface with the geometrical of 0.1 of datum A. The total height is 18 and defined by uh, geometrical tolerance of 0.3 with the datum A. So let us consider how we tried to how the profile tolerance was inspected previously using dial indicator and set of gauge blocks. Let's consider this ideal uh, set up with gauge blocks with the height of 18 and dial indicator is zero in this case, which we consider as a control. And here coming to this, the lowest point of Dell indicator rating is a minus 0.12. The Dell indicator rating highest point is plus 0 0.04. So we'll try to consider parallel boundaries and we'll try to merge them. So, and then such that we'll take the highest rating, which is 0 0.12, and we'll try to double that, which is 0.24. So now we'll try to compare whether it is in spec. So now 0.24 is less than 0.3. So we'll try to say that the particular component is in spec. It's like comparing apples and apples because engineering needs something to compare. So we have a comparison here, 0.24 is less than 0.3 and then it is in spec and it follows the inspection test. So thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe and like uh, the video. Thank you very much.